My name is Chris Shepherd. I'm the Executive Head of Copthorne and Hollybrook Primary Schools in Bradford. We have at Copthorne, 99% of our children are Pakistani heritage children. So they come to Copthorne with quite poor language in many, many cases. So language and communication can be an issue. Um, but what defines this school is this, our strap line really which is that there are no limits on learning so we help children to understand that there's nothing that they can't achieve um, and we have a, a culture of no excuses and the highest expectations. I think learning by questions has helped our pupils in terms of their understanding of uh, written questions because often if you if you have a for example in maths if you have a, um, cal a written calculation in terms of using a, a numbers in it rather than words our children find that more accessible but what learning by questions does is a mixture of both so they get word problems and that's something they normally struggled with but what you've got here is a system where they can look at a word problem they can have a try if they don't get it right the first time it'll give them really focused feedback to help them sort of take that question apart a bit more in future and move them on. So they're still responding, they're still getting the answer right, but it's been broken down for them so that they then feel that they can access those questions. They're not so afraid of dealing with a with a, a word problem in future. So I think it's helped them in their in their understanding of the question itself in the first place. But then obviously the feedback, the focused feedback is the is the most powerful thing in that rather than them just getting it wrong, it's making them think more deeply. Um, and that's one of the things we're all about here. When a child uses learning by questions, they are given a, a whole set of, of question types. And what that's doing for our pupils is it is posing questions in different ways, rather than, for example, with the maths questions, where it would, in a maths question, where there would just be digits used, for example, You've got word word problems or questions posed in words in different ways. So that's making language more accessible to them because they're starting to see, well, they're starting to work out how what that question is actually asking them. Um, and the fact that it's posed in different ways is obviously extending their use of language and, and extending their understanding of that language. So we now have learning by questions happening from year three up to year six and we ask teachers to use it at least once a week and they timetable that and um, the reasons for that is because we feel that it gives them an opportunity to focus on a particular group in a lesson so they can set three different sets of tasks for example through learning by questions and it can be in maths reading grammar spelling punctuation or um, science and they can set three different sets of questions within that particular lesson. And immediately they get that feedback up on the board so that they can see which children or which groups of children are struggling and go over and give them that focused support. Um, and obviously one of the things for us is the quality of the feedback they're getting through their own, you know, one-to-one -one through that particular device as they ask that question. So that's helping to support them moving forward as well. Well, we love it. And I tell you why, the, the children love it, first of all, because, well, they like anything digital, to be fair. Um, and we've done a lot of work on finding out about the importance of gamification and that type of thing. Um, but they love the fact that they are getting instant feedback from their work. And our children here love a challenge. So they love the idea of, I'm going to get a bit of feedback, but I can keep trying. I haven't just got that wrong and I'm going to have to move on. And in the same instance, the teachers love it because they're getting that absolute instant feedback about the pupils. So up on their board will flash all the children in the class and they'll be able to see who is struggling, who's perhaps finding the work that's been set a bit too easy. And then they can adapt that as necessary or go over and support an individual group. And obviously it also affects staff workload, which we'll, we can talk about again in a moment. So obviously workload is high on everybody's agenda at the moment and we want all of our staff to have a good work-life balance. And I have to say that that was one of the reasons we also went for learning by questions because we could see how it would positively impact on that. 
So for example, it takes teachers on average five minutes to plan a lesson using learning by questions. But also obviously it's marking for them as they go. Um, and it's not a way of a teacher avoiding marking, but it's marking for them and it's giving them loads of really useful information, such as which child is struggling, which child is perhaps finding this a bit too easy and do I need to increase the level of challenge? But it also immediately in a lesson right there and then the teacher can go over to that pupil and or that group of pupils and support them. Well, for us, learning by questions has within it, it you know, it goes from upper sort of year two all the way up to GCSE and you can access questions so you don't have to hold any any pupil back not that we would but even using that particular system it it means that we can set them questions that are a level for a year seven for a year nine for a year 10 or 11 pupil as we feel is necessary so again we feel as if it supports transition into secondary school really really well I think Obviously, the long term learning, because it's helping them to they're having to retrieve prior learning and use and apply that all of the time as they answer the, the learning by questions questions. But it's that resilience because they're not you're not just you're not just answering a question and getting it wrong and, and moving on. You are answering a question and you're being told that's not quite right this time. But think about this. So they're having to think more deeply dig a bit deeper for that information and then have another go. And the feeling they get when, you know, on the for anybody who, who doesn't know the system, when you get the system in the square, which represents where a child has answered a question, a number will pop up telling you as the teacher how many attempts they've made at that question before they get it right. So again, that's a brilliant tool for the children to be able to see, you know, yes, it did take me five attempts, but I've got it right now. So the feeling that they get is the, the, the pride they feel then is wonderful. But you can see the look on their faces of, yeah, I've nailed that now. When we first looked into learning by questions, we were absolutely overwhelmed, really, by the value for money that it offers. And obviously these, you know, at the moment in schools, everyone's looking at their budget. Everyone's worried about finance. But this particular scheme not only was it evidence based, but it it supported us in so many different ways. So it gave us that as you know, that workload reduction for teachers. But it was such high quality that in terms of what it offered the pupils and, and you know, all the support that for things that we're looking at at the moment, like retreat, the importance of retrieval practice, the importance of long term learning that we just straight away bought into it because we could see that that if you were doing a you know if you were doing a business case this would be something that would really support you in 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 mo in moving the school forward and in, in supporting your pupils as a head teacher as an executive head i love it because i can see that you've got a system there that helps us to do what we say on you know what it says on the tin here at Copthorne which is to challenge all of our pupils at the appropriate level so it does that for us. So I love it from that point of view. I love it because I feel as if we're really supporting our staff in terms of giving them a tool that not only reduces the time they're having to spend planning lessons, planning really good lessons and planning, you know, spending their time marking and giving pupils really focused feedback. So for me, it does that. But obviously, the most important thing about our work uh, is the pupils and I can see the impact on them. They love it. And, you know, during lockdown, oh, my goodness, it totally came into its own because, again, they were getting that focused, bespoke work that they wouldn't otherwise have got. I, I can't sit here and, and tell you about learning by questions without telling you to, to get learning by questions because it has the impact it's had not just here at Copthorne, but on my other school as well, Hollybrook, which is all, another school in Bradford, again, has been incredible. And the buy-in from the staff and the buy-in from the pupils is so positive. Um, and it, it will, I think it really helps our context in Bradford in, the, in terms of giving our pupils the access to that, to, to that breadth of language that they might not otherwise have had. So get learning by questions, it's fabulous. Honestly, what an awful thought that we wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have the ability to really 
without spending hours and hours and hours on planning, we wouldn't have the opportunity to focus in at such a micro, sort of a, a, a minuscule level on each individual child within a particular lesson. You sort of tend to pick things up as the lesson goes on. And at the end of the lesson, well, here it's instant. And I think our staff would be bereft without it. And I think suddenly you're increasing their workload massively as well. But them not being able to see instantly which pupil needs support with that particular element of that unit of work would be a massive loss. I think it's one of the best things we've ever bought in school. And I can see the impact that it's having on our pupils. Learning My Questions has allowed our pupils to identify their strengths very, very quickly and their areas for development and become more resilient and, and push themselves. One of the things about Learning for Questions by me is the way that it chimes and aligns so well with current cognitive theory um, and evidence-based practice. So the whole notion of developing long-term schema, um, developing long-term learning, through the use of retrieval and that's what this allows our pupils to do and then obviously the other the, the other part of it is when you think of all the research that's been done into the power of feedback that's one of the central tenets for me of learning by questions in that it's about children getting that really focused feedback after every response which pushes their learning deep but enhances what they what they already know gets them to think in a different way but, um, you know, develops their resilience as they do that. So for, for me, that's one of the, you know, those are strengths, massive strengths that they would be probably the reason why I initially looked into it because, you know, um, we could see that it chimed so well with, with all that evidence-based practice.